This is Dr. Tom Rafai, and we are going to discuss the real reason behind our obesity and metabolic health epidemic in the United States and really the pandemic worldwide. And while I do want to focus on the topic of weight, because I know it's important to everybody, I also want to de-emphasize it a bit and put it into the universe of what we would call metabolic health. Uh, that includes blood pressure, your cholesterol, obviously diabetes risk, and the things that come along with that, including dementia risk, cancer risk. So while the scale is part of the universe, it's maybe like Neptune, it's an important planet. It's not the earth, it's not the sun, but we will discuss that issue as well. I'm going to cut to the chase here. Uh, you should already know my background with tens of thousands of hours of clinical experience from the Pritikin Longevity Center in the South to the Henry Ford Health System in the North and being the founder of the Flex5 Lifestyle Methodology that has been proven with thousands of patients. And it's the environments. Now, the environments, when I say environments, I'm particularly talking about food environments, but also physical environments in terms of how we are uh, built to no longer... Uh, the environments are built to make it no longer necessary to be physically active. But the bigger issue is the CRRAHP. That sounds like crap to me. CRRAHP, standing for calorie rich, refined, and highly processed food and beverage environments. It is that simple. That triggers all the rest. Without the substance, there's not going to be body weight to be gained. There isn't going to be 8 billion people on the earth. We have become phenomenally, phenomenally adept at making calories available. And there was a reason for this, but now it's gotten basically way out of hand. We have hundreds and hundreds of more calories being taken in uh, versus decades ago. And that has just clearly shifted the entire population's weight. Not only has it done that, it has set up an environment so that we have a, I don't want to use the word addiction yet. Um, I'm very comfortable with saying comfort food dependency. And unless we learn how to maximize what we can in terms of modifying our food environments. And I mean, oh, how can you modify your environments? I mean, I'm going to see seven McDonald's on the way to work and those McDonald's are going to be there whenever I drive to work. You could drive a different way to work, but beyond that, uh, it's still pretty much impossible. It's like everywhere you go, like a, a pinball machine, bing, 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 you know, you've always got something attempting you, whether it's Tim Hortons or McDonald's, or I don't even want to pick out any one, to be honest with you. It's everywhere. It's in the grocery store checkouts. It's in the fact that to find the healthy cereals, you have to get back pain, meaning you have to bend down, way down to, to get the higher fiber cereals or find the diamonds in the rough in the aisles, which there are, by the way, it's not all about just shopping the perimeter. There's even the grocery store environment, as you can see, I'm talking about here, but your home environment, where you live, where you wake up, where you go to sleep, what's on your kitchen island, where are the foods in the refrigerator when you open it up? Are there certain foods that are really practically impossible to, quote, get rid of, in my case would be cheese, from the household, but you could put them in a, a crisper or a drawer in the refrigerator that's harder to see rather than right there where the fruit should be, which fruit is often stuck in a crisper where it disappears from thought, you know, out of sight, out of mind, right? You see, everyone's had that apple that's been there for nine months, you know, crumpled up in a corner because we're trying to keep it fresh. Uh, no, actually there are more durable fruits should probably be at least some fraction of them that you'll know you'll eat over, you know, a couple of days worth of time on the kitchen island. Uh, that is a very important and simple adjustment to your food environment that can make a huge, massive difference, massive difference. I'm telling you that's not an existential difference. You're still going to have to deal with temptation outside the house, but there are ways to manage that as well by bringing your food with you. So let's move on beyond the house. Food bag. I now, I've always proudly had a Detroit Lions food bag, to be honest with you. Obviously, I'm even prouder now. So we're hopefully on our way to a Super Bowl. Let me not jinx it. But a food bag that can come with you if you're not particularly sure of your environment. I, I am in a Panera right now. I have mastered the environment of Panera to tweak their services for my benefit. I'm not expecting all of you to know how to tweak an order on Panera with four to seven adjustments on their app, but you should know that that's possible. And over time, it becomes easy um, how to even understand where convenience food can be a place that you can have a very healthy set of options, even a Taco Bell. I mean, I won't go into it right now, but the bottom line is I need you to know that your environments are critical and that there are different layers. There's your home, there is your work, and then there's even travel. 
So when you're leaving out of town, for instance, go hit the grocery store before you hit the hotel room. I just buy some fruit and yogurt and maybe some chopped vegetables. You got a little refrigerator in the hotel room for you. You'd be shocked at how these small, simple, additive tweaks to the environment where there is flexibility. Remember the three levels of control? Where you can control what you can influence and what you cannot control? Don't spend so much time on number three. You, you can't do anything about that. You're, you're wasting your energy there. And I'm not claiming that, you know, with focusing on levels one and two, what you can control and what you can influence, uh, your home food environment, your work food, your uh, um, your uh, work in, uh, environment, and, and your travel environment, by the way, includes just going on errands, a food bag you might bring with you while you're out there for four or five hours and you don't want to let you get yourself uh, too hungry, being tempted by corporate crap food, again, crap, C-R-R-A-H-P. And also your your travel food environment when you go out of town, but these can make a huge difference and shift the um, issue of body weight in terms of calorie balance, in terms of uh, your blood pressure. Because if you're going to be adding in issues like the great potassium intake that lowers blood pressure, uh, increasing and in controlling sodium intake, as we discuss in the master class, mention that in a moment. Uh, and in the nutrition module specifically, if you want to just get the nutrition module, but to make a long story short, we don't, you get to that keeping under 2000 or at least under 2,300 milligrams a day is, is, you know, over a thousand milligrams less than the average. You can have blood pressure improvements, you have triglyceride and uh, LDL particle number improvements. You have prolong your life, but more importantly, add quality to life. You not only add years to life, but life to years as my good friend, David Katz, the uh, past president of the American uh, College of Lifestyle Medicine likes to say, and the committed forward writer of the Flex 5 Lifestyle book. So I hope that that's helpful. The real source is the environment. Until or unless you address that, whatever results you'll get on the scale or the blood pressure cuff or your labs, the lipids, uh, triglycerides, uh, LDL particle number, or just non-HDL cholesterol, which is better than LDL cholesterol. That's another topic. Uh, or your insulin sensitivity, blood sugar, obviously. It's not going to be sustainable, unlikely, unless you take these steps to tweak where you can adjust your environments as much as you possibly can. Now, if you want to really deep dive into the Flex 5 lifestyle and get a 16-hour video collection that is the best that there is, period, until the book comes out and the Flex 5 app comes out, which I can't wait for that. Be more news. Stick around for that. It is the Flex 5 Lifestyle Masterclass, uh, which is all held on Kajabi. And you get to learn more about it if you go to dpm.drtomrefi.com. DPM, which stands for Diabetes, uh, or if you want Disease Prevention Masterclass, dpm.drtomrefi, D-R-T-O-M-R-I-F-A-I.com. And if you want just the nutrition module, just the nutrition module alone, you don't want to spend the $349 to learn all about labs and learn all about medications and to learn about not just nutrition, but psychology, environments, physical activity, accountability, all five keys, right? Mind matters, nutrition, physical activity, environments, and accountability. You can take just the nutrition module. It's robust. It's only $99. And that's the same website except for slash nutrition. So dpm.drtomrefi.com slash nutrition. So please, if you do, uh, click like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you here next time for another episode. Dr. Tom and the Flex 5 Lifestyle. Thanks.